Okay, so hopefully in this one I'll actually get to discussing this, okay? Center of mass. So let's let's take just any old object, a body, three-dimensional body, okay? And we know that gravity is acting on all the particles, right? It's a distributed loading throughout this entire body. And um, how do we graphically or experimentally determine this thing called the center of gravity? So this is what we do. Take an object. You can even try a, a coffee cup or a book or whatever. Your little baby brother. Okay. You take him, your baby brother, and you... Okay, let's go back to a coffee cup. Okay. You make a, a, a little point over there, point A, and you attach a string and you hang this object from that point. And you will see that it's not rotating and it's not accelerating. So just as, if, as I was explaining in the previous video, um, if you want an object to not rotate, right, be in rotational equilibrium, or if you want an object to not accelerate, then you need to find its center of gravity and apply a force under that for under the center of gravity or above it so that the lines of action of your reaction force and the weight are the same so if this object is not rotating and if it's not accelerating then it means that this force as you can see this there's a tension there's a tension in that cable and the line of action has to be uh, acting over the center of gravity. But we're not really sure. So we've, we've determined the line of action of the center of gravity. But we're not, we're not sure exactly where on this line of action it, it uh, exists. So what do you do? Drill another hole into, into this object or tie the string from another part on the on the body and let it hang again and again you'll find this this body won't accelerate and it won't rotate and so the center of gravity has to be somewhere along that line because this force is counteracting any translational motion and because it is just by by definition, it, it has to be acting along the line of action of the center of gravity. And you'll if you draw a line there from A down, okay, there's that A line. Can you see that A line, that original one? And now you draw the B line. Where those two lines intersect will be your center of gravity. And then if you take another point C and you hang it from point C, then you'll see that that line passes through that point as well. And so we can locate, just experimentally, we can locate the center of gravity. So what is what exactly is happening here? So say now we've, we've identified, let's, I'm going to draw, there's that body again, right? And we identify that there is our center of gravity. Okay, center of mass, center of gravity. We'll define the slight differences between those two. And say now you draw that whole A, there's A. And you, uh, you hang a string from there, which means that you've got this upward tension over there. Now, you agree with me, right, that the downward force of gravity, the weight, is acting through that point. And so, you've got this perpendicular distance here between these two. You've got an upward T and a downward weight acting straight down. Okay? And what is going to happen is that um, what's going to happen is that because of the the moment that this is causing this object is going to rotate that way okay because you've got an upward force and a downward force like that so you've got this kind of rotation does that make sense 
and it will the object will then rotate like that until until the center of gravity is underneath this line of action of t and then you will the center of gravity will just simply um, come to rest over here and the whole object will change the orientation until the center of gravity is over there does that make sense okay so that's essentially what this is talking about this this paragraph over here is just saying that uh, in real life these lines don't line up exactly because they because um, of variations in um, the line of action of gravity acting on each and every one of these but for all practical purposes we can locate a a point that we can call the center of gravity okay so the next one will go into more the mathematical basis for determining the center of gravity which is called the principle of moments but I hope that these last couple of videos have given you an intuition of the center of mass, the center of gravity. Okay, and how to experimentally calculate or determine it, not calculate it, but determine it. And kind of what it means. Okay, so let's, I'll see you in the next one.